Hey friend, it's Shei Dairo, and today I'm going to show you a simple step-by-step -step method for finding new Solana token using Phantom Wallet and Desk Screener in a way that even a primary school student can watch and understand. Before we move on, hear this disclaimer. This video is for education only. Nothing here is financial advice. Trading involves risk and you should always do your own research before making decisions. My goal is simply to teach you how the apps and tools work in the safest, simplest way possible. Many beginners want to explore new tokens on Solana, but they got stuck at step one. They don't know which apps to download, how to move money into Solana, how to avoid risky tokens, how to understand features on the screener, how to swap safely without losing funds. And honestly, some tutorials on YouTube make this look like rocket science, but it doesn't have to be. To achieve this, I have good 9 steps for you. Step number 1. Download the required apps. We need 2 apps. The first one is Phantom Wallet, that is Solana Wallet. Many may not know what wallet is. A wallet is like your digital bank for crypto. You use it to store, receive, and send tokens. The second app you will need is Dex Screener. Dex Screener is a scanner that shows you new coins, charts, prices, volume, and safety signs. How do we download both? Just open the Google Play Store or Apple App Store and search for Phantom Wallet. Then install it. The second one is Desk Screener. Install that one too. Step 2. Set up your Phantom Wallet. When Phantom opens, it will show you a secret recovery phrase. This is like the master key to your wallet. Hear this warning. Never share this key. That is first thing. Second thing. Never screenshot it. Third instruction, write it down secretly and save it. If someone steals your secret phrase, they can take your money. Step 3 now, fund your wallet with Solana token. We need Solana because it is the main token used in the Solana ecosystem. So here is the easy way you can do that. Go to the Binance or Bybit or any exchange you are using. First of all, you need to buy USDT. Buy directly, either someone send it to you or you buy with your local currency. If you want to buy with your local currency, then you need to head to P2P. This is P2P trading. Click it, then you can buy USDT here. Let's go back. When bought, you need to use USDT to get Solana. There are two means to do that. First method is to come here, click on trade, then click on convert. So you are to convert USDT you have to Solana here. So click on this BTC, then search for Solana here. That is S O L S O L. Good. Click this. Good. Now put amount of USDT you want to convert to Solana or click on maximum to convert all the USDT you have. When done, click on assuming I put 65, then click on quotes. Sorry, I don't have any USDT. I have used my USDT to invest in many coins, so I don't have USDT left. So then by doing this, it will convert to Solana. Second method is to click on these assets, then click on convert. But the most profitable method is to click on trade, then make sure you set this to sports. Probably you may see it under future, but I don't know. But make sure you target sports, then click on sports. Good. I clicked it. So we have USDT and we want to use it to get Solana. Then we have to change this trading pair. Instead of BTC USDT trading pair, we are going to look for SOL USDT. So click on this trading pair. Where without stressing, I think I can see SOL USDT here. And alternatively, you can also search for it here. SOL. Then you see options. Now, when given options, make sure you check carefully and be sure that it is sports. You see sports, 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 and so on. So, so 
Solana USDT is what we are looking for, not Solana USDC or any others, just Solana USDT. So click on it. Good. Now you will click on buy Solana from here. So you can draw this one on to the right, like amount of Solana you want to buy or change this. If you want to see your USDT to know the actual amount of the thing you want to buy, change this one, click it, then click on order by value USDT, click on confirm. Then from here now, you can put amount of USDT you can afford to buy Solana, then click on buy. When bought, the next thing is to send the Solana we newly bought to our decentralized exchanges, which is Phantom Wallet. So we have to send the Solana now from our exchange here to Phantom Wallet. How are we going to do that? First of all, come to Solana here, click on receive, then click on copy Solana, copied. Now go back to the exchange you want to send Solana from, click on assets. Excuse me, lest I forget, when you buy coin, that is USDT and according to Bybit, it will be under funding, this funding. But before you can able to use it for trading, you have to convert it to unified trading that's before you can able to use it to buy solana you have to convert it and how are you going to do that just click on transfer good so you have to transfer now from funding to unified trading then you will select instead of btc i think what you have is usdt so click on this then select usdt good now put the value of usdt you want to convert then click on confirm that is all then you can use it to buy solana so when done you now have solana right the same way you have to transfer Solana because that Solana will be under unified trading account so you have to convert it back to funding account there are many ways to do that actually if you want to send it you see option also to convert it but let's convert it from here click on this good that is bring it from unified trading accounts to funding account then here now you will change USDT to Solana search for Solana here S O L good this is Solana the first one click it then you can convert Solana to funding account now let's go back so when available in funding account then you can now click on withdraw so click on withdraw so next thing now is to select the coin you want to withdraw from so you will see solana here you get it now you see solana in this option here but i'll use one as a sample here now let's see is this bitcoin btc so you click it then select on chain transfer or withdraw good so here now you will paste the address that is solana address you copy from phantom wallet you will paste it here then in this network click it you have to look for solana network here so i'm not giving the option because i selected btc like i'm trying to send send btc but trust me when you click on network so you will see different options anyways but select solana that is sol please a special video on that on how to transfer crypto asset from one exchange to another so probably you can go and watch that special video check the pin comment if you see link to go watch the video or description to this video yes you see link to go watch the video Video. so after this one now just click on amount of uh, solana you want to send then click on withdraw so step number four confirm the solana arrival in your phantom wallet here so by the time you return to your phantom wallet your balance will update sometimes it may take up to 10 to 60 seconds so now officially you have solana in your wallet step five open the screener and apply safety features and this is the most important aspects and most misunderstood parts. Dex screener shows thousands of new tokens, some good, some bad. So we apply FITA to avoid dangerous tokens. FITA number one, come to this place, change this to 24 hours. FITA number two, change chain to Solana. Click on this all chains, select Solana. FITA number three, come to this sort, come to this, click on sort, then select 24 hours price change up. This price change up, select 24 hours fita 4 let's look for liquidity good this is liquidity click it liquidity means how easy it is to buy or sell without crashing the price coins with less liquidity than 1 million dollars may be too unstable that is less than 1 million dollars liquidity may be too unstable so i'll set minimum liquidity to 1 million right maximum will be 5 million that is 5 million that is within one million dollar to five million dollars then click on apply then let's set this uh one volume click on volume
volume minimum volume let's put it 10 million then click on apply we avoid tiny coins with tiny volume because they can be manipulated easily so the next thing now is to look for locked liquidity from the result gotten here so far so let me click on one of it uh good now look at it this liquidity is what is locked look at this padlock icon so that means it is locked liquidity locked means the developer cannot suddenly remove the funds so next thing now is to verify this token so you have to check their websites their twitter page their chat pattern then in their chat pattern avoid sudden huge spike okay so let's check it one by one uh, audit this one click on this audit mintable freezable no no it's okay like that and this is a good signal yes this this should be more than this this is a negative signal why this is a positive signal then market cap should be more than the trading volume and look at the market cap 2.06 billion dollars look at the volume 28.4 million so you can click here now to copy this contract address copy it then go to telegram and search for ttf bots so we want to use this one also to confirm this token so paste the contract address send it so we cannot trade this look at it mutable metadata mutable metadata so it's not okay liquidity log but it's mutable then top 10 percent here except is 0.00 percentage it's not okay let's look for another one so uh let's go to volumes with this filter now i don't get much coin but let's reduce the volume down a bit come here click on this volume clear same thing click again let's select the following one here okay so let me try this so from this one now let me click on useless <laughs> <laughs> i think useless is okay they have website they have twitter and i think you can see more thing here so copy the contract address go to ttf bot paste it enter oh good ah this one also is multiple let me look for another one. Oh, great this one is okay look at it looks clean to me good liquidity is locked 100 percent good owner is renounced good top 10 holders is lesser than 30 percentage good <laughs> If top 10 holders is more than 30 percentage, that coin is not safe to invest on. This is the website, this is Twitter, this is Telegram. Good. You can click on them to go check age. This is 203 days that this has been launched. This is a very good project. Now let's go to the charts. Click on this chart. Oh, uh -huh. there is nothing like sudden huge spike. So this one is okay. It's okay. Please, if you're very new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like on this video and you have questions drop for me in the comment section and i'll respond to that as soon as possible and please i'm begging you guys share this video that is the only thing you can do to compensate my effort do you want to enroll for my one-on-one -on -one training for crypto trading check the pin comment you will see link to go enroll for my course then look at this now make sure you see that this coin have a very shallow dip check very well look at the time frame this is five minutes put it day aha or more ah uh, this is good look at it now so which means this is a good project to invest on you can imagine if you can invest in this project you can imagine the downtrend see the downtrend which means there's tendency that this we trend again so if you check according to this this is bearish for this and if you are very smart what you can do to make money with this is this you buy this coin who did just somewhere how much did you buy this coin just somewhere then who did the following day check if the price has risen and you see your profit you can sell it or if you can endure if you want to see maybe the thing will still rise again wait for the third day fourth day because this is not a coin within few hours it has spent more than 200 days yes so if you can buy this coin now it's a great opportunity great investment for you look at it it's still coming back now let me put it four hours now this is four hours this thing is still going <laughs> it's still going bullish guys so what you do now is i have already copied the contract address now go to your phantom wallet click on swap you know you already have solana right you have solana in your phantom wallet you want to use it to swap this coin so how are you
you going to do it now you pay solana to get this right so what you do now is click on this then in this search bar paste that contract address you copy from the screener paste it good now when pasted it has shown you the token this is it now click on it good it has replaced here now this is it so the next thing now is to put the value of solana you want to use to buy this token assuming this is the amount of solana you want to use to buy this then it is going to show you amount of troll troll token you can get then you can see clearly now slippage auto is 1.2 percentage fees 0 0.03 then click on swap now swapping so to troll swap so successfully done that is all then you keep the watching so it's very simple you have invested you only just to be checking it to see if the profit is okay for you then sell it it's very simple to sell is like this just the same way click on swap so when click on swap then you click on this one so the up one here now you have to change it to your true that coin so when you make profit profit then sell it that is simple step number nine take profit and start again it's very simple don't be greedy if you make 20 to 40 percentage take profit then repeat the process that is you scan you filter you check it you, you forget we use ttf board to check and you buy small you take your profit then you repeat it it's as simple as that this is a very simple cycle even kids can understand so if you enjoy this tutorial please give me a like on this video please and share this video i beg you share this video if you want my course check the pin comments you see link to connect with me i love you guys the next time see you guys in my next videos